total of 42. Second and long, here's Felder again, and has some running room. Justin Felder, caught from behind, back on the field after being injured. And here he is again, here's Felder, with one man to beat down the sideline. And he gets pulled down inside the 30. Stone King sends Pungitori in motion to the end zone, wide open in the back of the end zone. That's a Stonehill touchdown. Wide open, no one near him was Casey Gervais. Skyhawks will send four against the freshman quarterback who now rolls, got himself in trouble, dumped it off. Good snap. And the Skyhawks have a 10-0 lead. Stone King will try Felder again. Justin Felder. All the way down inside the 20. And on the third down, Stone King take it himself, and he'll walk it in. Touchdown, Skyhawks. And now Stone King on first down for Felder with running room. Justin Felder stays on his feet to the Owls' 39-yard line. Big, big first half. Now Stone King all over the middle, wide open, Pungitori touchdown. And it's a low snap, and it's trouble. And he's somehow able to kick it away. What a great job that time. And look at the roll he gets, and it's picked up. And Schutz will get it back out to about the 45. Final play of the first half. The kick is on the way, and it is good. Stone King on second down. Has the ball knocked out of his hands. And if they're calling that a fumble, the ball is still loose. And let's see, they're going to give the ball to the Owls. Terrific afternoon thus far. Here's Felder trying to bounce it outside, and he will. And here he comes. Justin Felder. 65 yards. Ostrowski fires over the middle, and it's caught inside the 15 to the 10 and close to the end zone. Yes, in for the touchdown. Skyhawks marching again, and here's Felder. Bounces off a tackle and goes down to the five to lead the way. Now on the third and goal, hurtling over everyone for the score. Justin Felder. Ostrowski has the ball knocked loose. And it's picked up by the Skyhawks. Second down, seven now for the Owls, deep in their own territory at about their 10-yard line. Jackson Ostrowski fires, and it is caught out at the 35-yard line. And this is running room down the sideline for Isaiah Sanders. And if he didn't step out, he'll go in for a touchdown. Now firing deep down the sideline. The pass incomplete at about the 10-yard. Oh, did he catch it? Wow, they're going to call that a catch. So one more snap, and the Skyhawks in about 30 seconds will end their brief two-game skid. And with the win, will improve to 5-3 and three overall, 4-2 and two in the NE10. Really just put in the game plan, followed the game plan. Coach put in a great game plan. The O-line, they that was amazing what they did today. I, I got second play of the game. I got hurt. Thought I wasn't going to go back in. Came back in, and they, they were just still open holes, still doing what they needed to do for me. And they just made it real easy for me. That was amazing. I had no idea I was even close to 300. I thought I was around 2, 2, 250. But 300, that was amazing. They announced it. I was shocked myself. It was really a great feeling. I'm really honored to have that. The last last two weeks were tough for us, two heartbreakers. And we definitely didn't forget that. Like That feeling, we didn't want to feel that at, at all anymore. And again, we showed that when we came out today. Like As a group, as a team, the one thing we've been preaching all week was we don't want to feel like that again. So we came out here and did what we needed to do. Yeah, I thought you know we did a great job of, of starting fast. Um, you know we were able to get out to an early lead uh, and, and maintain it. Um, you know we were able to run the ball at will and uh, we got stops defensively when we needed to. So it was good to have a complete performance and put it together and get the results that we're looking for. Uh, we did a great job of 
you know, getting the ball going downhill. I mean, we weren't doing anything too special from a play calling standpoint. We had them schemed up and you know, we were running inside zone and we were coming off the ball great up front. We were making the right reads, uh, you know, as a quarterback and, and he was doing the rest, you know, Justin, you know, getting to that second level, um, making a couple guys miss and, and getting some big chunk plays, which was really the, the, the key to our sustained success, especially in the first half. Yeah, you know, he's doing a great job of, of making the right read and putting the ball where it's supposed to be based off of coverage, not based off of personnel. You know, I think uh, he's putting the time in, you know, with our staff uh, to, to, you know, be as ready as possible when Saturday rolls around and, and making sure that he's seen all the looks that he's going to see and some that, you know, maybe they haven't shown that we could be anticipating. And, um, you know, he did a great job of just reading, giving the ball where it needed to be given and throwing the ball where it needed to be thrown. So. Yeah, it's a really special achievement for for him. Obviously, uh, with you know when you start talking about all-time records, you know within our program, um, that's it's really special. It's hard to put into words, you know, what that uh, what that accomplishment probably means to him, what it means to our program, and and uh, there's a lot of people that had a hand in that. And you know, great job by our offensive line today. Um, and, and obviously a great job by Justin and he had a big day and we kept feeding him the ball and you know when you average over 13 yards a carry uh, it's you know pretty tough to stop our offense that way.